Welcome to a little bit of Lab Rat Fun Networking with Fish. This is going to be the third in the new APIC EM IWAN app YouTubes. We've already gone ahead and deployed the VM together in the first one. Again, we're March 2016 right now, version 1.10, and we've also provisioned the two data centers uh, via the IWAN app, and now we're going to go ahead and provision a branch together. So we're going to go ahead and focus in on branch 3 and provision that via the IWAN app. What we're going to do is you might want to go ahead and write these um, IP addresses down. So again, the IWAN app is going to be 10.101.30.11. And the internet side is going to actually be via DHCP. It's gigabit 002. Later on, we'll also be uh, putting in IP address 12.3.3.2. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to take branch 3. It's going to be right arrays to reloaded, and it's going to be powered off. I'm going to go into the IWAN app and go into the deployment of the branches, go to the PNP bootstrap config, pick the one for Ethernet public, put the um, plug and play zero touch deployment bootstrap config onto a USB stick. I will then go walk into the other room, insert the USB memory stick into branch three router, power up the branch three router. The branch three router will get a DHCP address from its ISP. The branch three router will then go to the plug and play agent, which is the APIC EM IWAN app. The IWAN app will then recognize this as a newly discovered device. We will then go into that see the newly discovered device, and then provision it in the IWAN app. Select it and provision it, and then we'll be done. So let's go ahead and go into the IWAN app. If you recall correctly, we had two provision sites. Those are our two data centers. So now we're going to go ahead and manage a branch site. As you see, we have no other sites. We go to Bootstrap, and we have um, the T1 private, the Ethernet public, and the Ethernet private. So if we come here, because we're going to go ahead and do it on the public side, and download it. Yes, we want to go ahead and do this. Download multiple files. As you see, I already did it. I already pulled it down from before. And we go ahead and we open it up. And actually, I completely forgot. We need to open it up in uh, WordPad. So let me just go ahead and. And so this is interface gigabit 001, just like uh, in the previous version, we actually want 002. And just like before, I'm just in a little lab environment, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of this stuff because I don't really care. And uh, this is actually going to be, this is going to be 10.101.30.11. So this is actually what we're going to put on onto the USB stick. So let's go ahead and save it. So let's go see how branch three is doing. We have one newly discovered device here. So let's go ahead and go into the branches. And one newly discovered device, it is FLM. This is the serial number 165.33. And then 192.168, actually there's a DHCP back on the LAN side, but 165 is our WAN side internet. This is 43.51. So let's go ahead and go into the router here. And if we do a show version, include FLM, we'll see that it's FLM 1940WZQR. And if we do a show IP interface brief, We'll see that we have an IP address over on the WAN side. We also have an IP address over on the LAN side. And this is our device. And we're going to go ahead and give it a site. So we're going to go to the site name here. And we're going to give this Florida. And the host name is going to be branch3-r1. And then we will go ahead and click Save. So we have Florida, and we have uh, branch 3R1. And we're going to go ahead and come right up here and say we want this. And then we'll see that we want to provision the site. Well, what kind of site is it? It is actually uh, one router with two WAN clouds. So we're going to pick this one. 
and it's Florida, the site location. We already know the pop to connect to is this pop right here. We want this pop. So we want to go ahead and select the LAN interface. So let's click on the internet. Ensure that the following fields are followed the location. Whoops, the daisy. So gigabit 002, that's uh, Ethernet, my iNet. We're doing um, DHCP, which we already know. And as we saw on the other one, we're going to go ahead and give everybody 100 meg. So uh, give everyone 100 meg. So that's go ahead and that's configured. Uh, select a WAN type. So we don't have a WAN type here, so we're going to go ahead and say MPLS. And then pick this. And the CE address, if you recall correctly, the CE address is going to be 12.3.3.2. So let's go ahead and go into that. And that is 12.3.3.2. And the mask is going to be um, exactly the 255, 12.3.3.1. And the download and upload is actually going to be uh, 100, because everyone got 100. And show that the following events are correct, the CE mask, so that's interesting. So let's just do 255.255.255.0 and save. And the LAN. So we're going to go ahead and enable the DHCP. And we're going to say we're going to do data, guest, video. And we're just going to say, you know what, we just don't care. We're just having fun with this. I'm just a little lab rat. We're going to go ahead and see what actually ends up happening here. So everything's a check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark. And then apply changes. Is this all good? Yes, it is. Apply now. Go. Are you sure you want to apply changes? Yes, I am sure I would like to apply changes. So what we have now is we have that we are, as you can see, Florida is being, the health is that it's being discovered. So it is um, progress, it is in progress. So let's go ahead and go back over here. So if we go ahead and we check it out, Let's go over to the router itself. Let's do a show DMVPN. So this is all being done via the iWAN app. Uh, remember, this actually started off completely, uh, completely zeroized. Uh, and so in other words, right erased reload. So we are now at the iWAN app. We'll recognize this as a newly discovered device, which we've already done. In iWAN app, select the device and provision it. So remember, we started with zero configs whatsoever. We now have DMVPM, and we actually have it to both the data center one and the data center two. Show IP EIGRP neighbor. And we've got our neighbors, two over tunnel 10, which is the MPLS tunnel, and two over tunnel 11, which is the INET tunnel. And I didn't have to think about any of this. It just went ahead and it configured it. And I can even go a step farther and I can do a show domain one. And then master status. And I can see that I'm up, I'm running, and I have uh, the border that's actually out over tunnel 10, which is MPLS, and the tunnel 11, which is over on INET. And we are done, and we are ready to go ahead and start doing intelligent path control on whatever traffic that is behind this branch. And we are done. We started with branch 3, um, which is actually not a 4331. Uh, let's see what this is. Maybe it is a 4331. I play with too many boxes. Yep, it is a 4331. So branch three started with a 4331 with no configs. It was powered off. We used the iWin app to get the plug and play bootstrap config. We put the plug and play zero touch deployment bootstrap config on a USB stick, inserted the USB memory stick into branch three, powered the branch three router up. Branch three router got a DHCP address from the ISP. And then the branch three router will go to the PNP agent, which is the APKEM iWin app. The iWAN app will recognize this as a newly discovered device. And we went ahead and we saw that. We went click, 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 provision, and we're done. And branch three is ready. Data centers are ready. Branch three is ready. 
everything was done with the iWAN app and the next thing we're going to go ahead and do in the next YouTube is actually start using this environment and having traffic in it. Catch you later. Hope you had a lot of fun lab networking with fish and have a great day.